Hello, it's me. It's a bit of a late one because I forgot. I thought I already had one ready for tomorrow, but I haven't. So I'm just going to do, I know it's Christmas. And I'm yawning. So I saw, so I, so I saw it. Blah, blah, blah. So I apologize to any of those out there who do not want to yawn. who do not feel really tired just yet, but are now feeling it. All right, I'm going to do the poinsettia. But first, before I do that one, I'm going to do my damn painting fund. Now, as you can see, it went down because I used that money towards my, um, towards my, what did I do? Uh, drills from Ever Moment needed for um, my sexy wang ebo. And oh yes. I don't care. He is very sexy to me. That's the bugger. Oh dear. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that tasty? Oh, hold on a minute. I think that's the way around. Oh dear. Look at the mess that I've got in there. Scratched it. Whoa, look at those abs. <sighs> he is gorgeous. And look, he's tied up. Wowzers. Sorry. <laughs> I know, it's disgraceful, eh? Very disgraceful. Right, so I need to get my fund up and running again. <sighs> that ruddy cat has been up here and scratching away. How do I know this? Because it's freaking detritus everywhere. Ugh. Right, fine, bring those um those thingy jigs down. That bloody cat. She knows damn well that she's not allowed up here. And if I was down here, she knows damn well she don't come anywhere near. But yeah, the second I disappear for a moment, she's up here. Right, so I've got six pounds ready, just in case. I'm hoping it's not going to be that, because... <laughs> right, here we go. Alpha. <laughs> well, that was good, wasn't it? Why? Why couldn't you have been something like three or four, even? But no, well, that's how it goes. Well, it's a head start. Let's try and get this underneath all this. It's a head start to me next. To if ever Secret Temple comes into stock. Bloody hell, I would have gone off flipping the picture by the time it does come in. I say, no, I don't want it now. I wanted it back then, but I want it now. Right, here we go. Let us do these now. Oh yes, I meant to show you these. I did these. I found the, the envelopes so they're all ready to add to the rest of them, if I can remember what, where I put them. I've still got a gazillion more to make up. But these hopefully will be right by Christmas, she says. Good. Oh, I've been busy today. I've been cutting loads and loads of fabric up because I got a um, I sold a fab scrap blah, 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 a fabric scrap bag. It's a random sort of bag of fabrics. Uh, I do about thirty pieces, and it's sort of about that big, and it's quilting cotton. And um, yes, yeah, so I do a random selection of those, and um, yeah. So I've got them up on eBay and I've also got them up on Folksy. Yes, so I've been cutting up loads of fabric and I can tell, ugh, I forget. I haven't worked with fabric for absolute ages and now I remember why I wore a mask. And of course I hadn't put a mask on so I'm really going to be ugh, tomorrow. So I better keep drinking my water. Very cold, fizzy water is the idea, is the answer to everything. Right. Oh yes, I forget. This is paint gem and you can't see the bloody symbols very well. I'll do C's if I can find C's. Because <clears throat> it's that orange. Look, even the bloody cat's in the tray. God, Desmond. And he's, she's looking at me as if say, are you talking about me? Yes, I am. 
He's supposed to be a bloody short-haired cat. Oh, damn it. But well, oh, for God's sakes. Bloody cat, I'm gonna to put my towel back over this again, over this table. Just stop the little bugger. Yeah, so what's everybody been up to? I could have sworn I had a whole load of um, videos done up until Monday. Uh, this is where I put them all up on one day, haven't I? Oh, I did that time before. I'll have to double check. Oh, I found my wheel of fortune, me um my wheel of things, craft things to do. I went through, I went, oh yes, oh yes. So I can do some things on Wednesday. I might do cover minders. Let me show you how I do mine. I have a couple of sorts. And they sell quite well at craft fairs but I think people buy them at craft fairs just for fridge magnets to be honest but either way I mean some started their life out as um, enamel pins and all I can say is oh to cut the bloody backs off oh dear do some little books I've got to make some little books off I've got to find the ones that I've already made I think they're at my office because they're what I tend to give away as freebies so whenever anybody buys anything from me they get a freebie if it's Mo Dao Zushi and that kind of stuff and enamel pins and things to do with the anime they get a, a pack of stickers and um and other a few other bits and bobs. But if it's fabric, they either get buttons, a thread, or um, what else do they get? Ribbon, or a little note. You know, one of my little three-way fold note notebooks, notebook pad things. Yeah, so actually, I'm probably not making anything on what I sell, but as far as I can see, as far as I see it is, is that I've spent the money anyway, the money's gone, so whatever comes in is something, you know, it's, it's something, you know, it doesn't matter. Yes, it would be nice to earn a living, like I did at one point, but the stress of that was just, oh my God. So, whilst a few more orders would, would be quite nice, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not at all, you know, knocking the fact that this way is less stressful. just looked up on fair to see about you know looking how to put stuff on fair which is like a wholesale b to business to business site and um i'm toying up with doing some stuff onto there because well i like making things in bulk <laughs> or certain things So, you know, I don't think I would mind doing that at all. 
problem is, it's working out the prices. I mean, wholesale is certainly cheaper, but then, you know, if you're making things to sell and say they're X amount, you know, say they're something like £15, wholesale has to be a bit cheaper. But then if you're making them, you know, I don't know, it cuts like into your profits if you put any profit margin in, which I know you should, but oh, I don't. I just, I don't even work out the time I do. I just work out the rough cost and round it up, which is pretty pants. But it's less stressful that way. It keeps me occupied to a certain extent and I can stop when I want to stop. And you know, when I was doing on Etsy, I mean, I had sales every day and some were, you know, quite a few sales. And oh, I was non-stop then. And I think that's what burnt me out a bit. But well. <coughs> and I'm just sort of getting rid of the stock that I have. Lots of bunny pins that I need to sell. Lanjan and Wee Ying pins. Yeah. Why am I doing this single placing when I could have done it multi placing? Can somebody please tell me? What a muppet! I could have done a lot of that on multi placing. <sighs> well, perhaps that's why. Oh, God. Oh, please don't. It's Saturday tonight, today. It is Saturday, isn't it? Good golly. Well, I just realised that I've got to, I think I'm going to have to order some more legs. Well, not my legs, obviously. Some more legs from Ikea. Some of those, um, you know, height adjustable ones for one of my tables. Because... Ah, and then I can just order one tabletop as well. Perfect. Because then I'll have that other table. Um, because then I can use that table for, take this big cutting mat up to the office, then I can use it for cutting my fabric with my rotary cutter and my new ruler that I had to get, which I was mortified over, considering that other ruler I'd had for a decade or two. fabric and I really do need to deal with it and get get it shot any ones while I can see them yes I have three ones one two three 
three. There we go. Oh, is that lid on? Yep. And two. I can see two. So tomorrow I should be doing a lot of filming to try and get ahead of the game. The only problem is when you do a lot of filming in one day, by the time you get to say your third video, you've run out of things to say. So you can't ever do sort of, you know, a whole big batch of things at one time. So it just doesn't work. Two, two. Got to break it apart because I think with paint gem I'm probably going to need it and don't want that one. That one is definitely bitty. Bitty. But that one's not too bad. Right. Oh, that fan is nice. I've turned my heating practically off. And I'll considering I'm putting my AC on today. Yep, I have an AC. Because that time when we had that bloody heat wave, that real hot weather, and we were, I think we were, what's it, COVIDed. So we weren't allowed to go anywhere, do anything or whatever, and it was really hot in my house. And, um, and uh, And I ordered an air conditioner, which then obviously somebody else, it, it was due to be delivered. And then, of course, it disappeared in the in the post. Basically, somebody obviously thought, oh, we'll have that. And then I had to convince the flipping catalogue, because I bought it on the Never Never, that I hadn't received it. And that in this hot weather, do you think I would, um, I would say I haven't received it? You know, I wanted the bloody thing because I was burning up and it was just like, you know, and I haven't got it because obviously it's gone walkabout because you send things by every, my new Hermes, which is just like the old Hermes. Everything goes bloody walkabout if anybody fancies it. And, um, yeah. And, but of course they wouldn't send me out another one. Oh no. They had to do their, you know, checking up. And uh, if anybody knows, trying to get in touch with Hermes every, well, I'm sorry, you know, more luck, you know, getting through to Elon Musk on Mars than you would every. So, of course, that dragged on. I overheat and I got quite ill and, um, and then it must have been about a month later I think we must have had another another hot heat wave um, and it arrived the next one actually did arrive and it, I got it from somewhere else that's why and it arrived after the heat wave so it was like oh, great so I thought, well, at least I've got it for the next time we get heat wave. And we haven't had one since. But I have used it. Because, oh, it is bliss. The cool, cold. Oh, I shut my bedroom door, draw the curtains. And I just lie on my bed. It's a little bit away from my bed, so I don't get the full blast. It takes a while to cool the room down. But when it does, oh my God. And when you feel the waft as it sort of goes across. Oh, it's lovely. Four, five. But I do know one thing. If I lived in America, oh my God. Even if I lived in Alaska, I'd probably still have to have a, an air conditioning unit. I don't know. Maybe Alaska does get warm. But um, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't live in in America. I really couldn't. Too too hot, humid. 
granted that's some of the states you know some perhaps aren't as, as you know hot and dry as that but I just couldn't function well, I suppose if I was born there I would probably adapt to it because that would be all I knew but coming from my energy there's no way so I just watch America from afar And yes, half the time I think to myself, they must be bloody nuts. But there again, they're probably thinking exactly the same as me, about me, with our weather. All that rain. Oh God, yeah, but I'd have soon have rain. <laughs> I can cope with rain. Rain is cool. We don't usually have hot rain over here. Uh, yeah, my hat goes off to all you Americans out there who, who deal with your weather. So I think that's very brave. Have I done all the fours? Have I? Yes. Right. Fives and L's. Which one am I going to see first? Well, I've just seen L's. So L's, bells, it's L's. Look at that with a little nub in. Don't want that. <clears throat> oh dear. I think I'm going to put my AC on when I go upstairs just for a bit. I mean, I've turned the heating off. Well, it's down so far down that, you know, I don't even expect the radiators will be acknowledging it. I mean, I'll probably start thinking about turning it off now actually save my gas oh god oh why did I pick up another L I have used them all. Right, okay. Fives or Ks? Ah, I spot the fives. So fives it is. Are we close enough? Burnt. So you're probably straining to see. Not really, were you? Because you're doing whatever you're doing, which is fine by me. Oh, yes, I wonder what should I do tomorrow? Well, apart from I've got to well, I've ordered some more mailer bags because I couldn't find the bloody ones the purple ones I use so I've had to order some more so I've ordered some bright pink and I hope they come as bright pink because I ordered some bright pink ones last year I think it was someone and when they turned up they turned up microscopically small I would hardly call that pink it was a horrible dirty pink I couldn't be bothered to um, send them back. So, yeah. I went through my mailer bags, um, my orders for mailer bags on Amazon, because that's where I get them from. The orange ones that I send out my, sent out my orders from Etsy. And um, 
I've probably got about 40 left and I looked at them and I'd ordered because they come in packs of 100 I'd ordered 1200 of them and I've got about 40 left so all of those others were sent out give or take the odd one which obviously got trashed because it didn't you know whatever but wow when I saw that I went bloody hell I wonder I was burnt out I did enjoy having the money though but money comes in my hand and goes out my hands So it's not mm. I'm not sure whether I've finished this one yet. definitely trying to get to bed before midnight and sort of you know by at least half twelve one aim to sleep and that's when I put my um rain on a tent music on and I go to bed listening to that and that does help it reminds me of my dad when we used to go to Wales <laughs> at one point we used to go camping and we'd, we'd camp and then um, we progressed up to a holiday cottage but I still miss the camping in his blacks it was called blacks that was the make and it was a one of those orange canvas tents and it had that beautiful wonderful smell to it that sort of you know waterproofed um rain grass tinty smell and it was lovely and it was only a single layer from brightly and i don't recall it ever leaked and we all went in that and i just remember that tent yeah, so I have fond memories of camping. Right. Umbrella. I saw the umbrella. Is it Rihanna? Sings, my umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. Sometimes it doesn't work. Needed a few more than what I had. And that one. P or T. And I see the P, so P it is. doing some mash-up don't know how many are joining me doing it. it might just be me and I think there's one other girl that I know so far but doesn't matter
nubbin but it fitted in yeah all right for the price of these kits i have to say they are rather poor the drills there are so many um trashy ones and the canvas is hard to read Once they're done, if you persevere, they aren't too bad. Right. Is that a D? Yes. D or F? Which one do I see first? E. I didn't ask for E, did I? No. D or F? few of these. Yeah, I've been feeling a bit on burnout recently. I'm so, well, I'm having a bit of a flare up. And it's, um, Ever. That's another one with a freaking nubbin. Oh, God, there's loads. Loads of them. Be careful. Sorry, my head. place the other day I probably said this already looking up for new carpet for here and um, because I've got such a small house and a lot of furniture in it I was saying how does it work out you know I can't move the furniture you know can they move it you know for me and also because I've got such a small house there's nowhere it can be moved to I said, and this is a really nice day, and then it can be moved outside. And um, and he said, yes, they can do that. It just costs a little bit more. So they said, you know, when I'm ready to, um, call them up, and they'll come round, measure up, and, and sort me out a price. So that's good. So I'm going to... I've got to do the decorating first. Oh dear. Be 
easy if I could just ask my son. Say, so, look, boy, you've had enough money from me, which I've lent you, and you haven't paid it back. So, but how about you paying it back in doing the chores? You know, a few things to help me, like I've asked him before to do. And he said yes, and then it never happens. Because I get him to do my decorating. Hell, I could even get him to do my carpet. He knows how to do it. He won't. So it's a case of I potter on. It doesn't get done. And yet they're quite quick to complain about the state of my house. Well, yeah, my house isn't the tidiest one on the planet. But there's just me living here. I have asked the cat to help out, but you know, she doesn't have any thumbs, so she can't. And it'll only get done when I can do bits. Because literally, I'm not going to kill myself over doing a spot of bloody housework. I'm sorry. I think I might phone up the social services and ask them whether they still do like home helps or something. Just all I need is organising. So come in, help me organise what I've got. You know, get some of those clear boxes, box it all into those. Find a place for those to go. Move a lot of stuff up to me office. That'd be the one I'd like. So maybe if I just box it all up and then I'll hire a man with a van. Oh dear. But then that's going to cost silly amounts. Uh, get my son to help me, but... a one-sided thing, a one-way street. I help him and that's as far as it goes. <laughs> D or G, which one is it? D or G, it's D. I found the other day. I found me watermelon lemonade putty. I still don't know where one of the other ones have gone. Um, I have three in total. Now I've got two. So the other one should be found at some point. D. know what I ate after I did the weather had the weather spoons on Thursday. I don't know what happened there that night. Oh my word. I was windy miller all night. So it's just as well I live on my own. Quite funny because um, over here, I don't know if what you call farts, whether you just say it's farts or whatever, but here we sometimes call them trumps, which is quite apt, we think. 
<laughs> oh, just got a Donald Trump going. Oh, there's another one bits on. But, yeah. Oh my god, I got the best knife ever from Amazon. I That sounded a bit bad, didn't it? <laughs> well, I've been cutting my bread with a crappy knife. It's not even a bread knife, proper bread knife. I did have a bread knife many years ago. It came in a set in a block, but it was crap. Very big serrated edge. So I looked on Amazon because I had some, I had some gift card balance left and that was the one I got and I'll tell you what it's got the most loveliest feel to it and it just slides through the bread like butter best knife oh I was so pleased so that arrived today I was made up I went oh my god it's lovely why am I getting so excited over a knife a bread knife not like I'm going to break and enter into people's houses and go and cut up all their bread for them. Mind you, that could be quite funny, couldn't it? Amusing. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, I was watching a thing about... Um, it's one of those reaction ones, and it was a reaction from Americans... Um, and it was about, you know, how one school shooting sort of changed our gun laws over here. And it was the Dunblane massacre of the kids, about 16 kids or so, that um, got shot and died. And, um, and it was the handheld guns that mainly got banned. I mean, because people can still have shotguns because they need it for their jobs, but things are very tight around here. But um, as I was watching that, and then they showed this clip of um, Charlton flipping Heston the knob. I'm sorry, but he may be one of your lovies, but to me, he's an absolute tosspot with his attitude. When he was um, whatnot off the NRA, and he goes... From my cold, dead hands. And I was thinking, gladly, gladly. Bang! Absolute moron. I think it's too late for America to um, tear ban guns. I mean, at the time when the um, whatever amendment it was, was it the second amendment, right, right to bear arms or whatever it was, was done. That was back in the bloody day when, you know, people needed to. But as civilization progressed, shall we say, well, it certainly didn't in the the way to carry arms. I mean, I'm not suggesting that you don't have, you know, guns at all. You know, because we still have guns, guns for shooting. You have your, your license. You can't go to, say, Asda or Tesco's and buy a gun. Like, you, like Americans can go to Blooming Walmart, buy a gun. I mean, I don't think that should be allowed. I think maybe if they did that, if they stopped the sale of guns and things like that, 
in those kind of stores and just, you know, let it be a gun shop that sells it. And you don't sell handheld guns or Uzis and all that kind of stuff, you know. I think that will curb a lot, but it won't happen because now you need to protect yourself, apparently. Wow. I don't know. It's a sensitive s subject, that's for sure. But I definitely think Charlton Heston's attitude. was wrong. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. But all these accidental shootings that happen, you know, of where, I mean, read recently there was kid or something he was a toddler or whatever it was and he got hold of his gun and shot his mother i mean yeah it's just so sad all these deaths that are not necessary so sad. People's lives are just, you know, taken like that. Yeah, I think I'm just anti-death, to be honest. Anti-killing. I mean, God, we haven't got it all right. We still have murders. Our main thing over here is knife crime. But, uh, which is just as crazy. But a lot of it is from the drugs. People, you know, selling drugs and dealing and, and hooked on drugs. And then they form gangs to protect their patch. And you just sort of think, oh God, wherever you go, there's, it's, it's there, everywhere, you know, death, people just going out and killing, and you, you just sort of think, why, if they didn't have the guns in the first place, I think that's some of the logic that people say. If you didn't have the guns in the first place, then um, there wouldn't be any shootings. But there would be. Because all it takes is one idiot to shoot. And then another idiot to shoot back. sad thing is there's a lot of innocent people getting caught up in the crossfire life is cheap that's some people see it I think I mean hooked on drugs desperate to get cash to pay for said drugs burgling then they take a weapon with them and then before you know it, they've shot somebody and it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they need that fix. And they don't see what, they, what they've done. They just see getting that high, chasing the high. And that is so sad and a lot of it's mental health. You know, it's just, 
I need to. I just need more care, more love in the world. More support. It's very, very sad. And you just sort of feel helpless. What can you do to change that? Or do you just let it run its course until basically everybody shot themselves? Or they're so, you know, or everybody's drugged up. It's just... Oh, I don't know. Very, very sad. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to bring down the tone. Right, B. I saw a B. There it is. I was going to say B or T. I needed one. One. A or T. I can see an A. And I needed one. T or N. Oops, and it's a T because I spot the T. that's a spade it looks more like a blimmin tree a christmas tree so spade or clubs christmas tree it is it's the bottom set right because this is where some of the flipping clubs look like the spades they look more like the spades than the spades do slightly darker blue now why they couldn't make it a different color completely you know when you've got a club that's a blue and then they give you the spade that is a blue Club on in. Chocolate biscuit, join our club. Club or an N. There's a club. Don't want that one. That's not even the right colour. I suppose the kids go back to school on Monday. Easter holes are over. My grandson didn't have Dubby, Dubby, Dobby, the Lego elf. 
So that was good. That's why I got them for Easter. This one's special. And my granddaughter didn't have um, the one I got her. And I was quite surprised because for a Lego kit, she liked her top. She instantly put that on straight away. So that was good. And um, and I got a Lego. Ooh. It's all the same price as you know I spent on them each. And um, and her Lego it had quite a lot of pieces. I was really impressed because sometimes you spend an arm and a leg and you get like a mere handful of things. And a lot of the things are already sort of pre-built type of thing, and you just sort of think, oh dear. Right, 8N or W? 8, it is. And there's a W, and there is an N. Holy moly. And look, I have finished this near enough. Oh, I need a few more. Oops, not that many. So, oh, when I said I didn't think I'd finish this, I was talking out of my bottom, wasn't I? This is a nice blue. Sort of navy blue. Hmm. Now, eight N's and two W's and we're done. Let's do the N's first. Let's get the big ones out of the way. Oh, come back. Right. N. Well, these are hard to see when they're up the right way. Their bottoms are so flat and shiny. Two, three, four. All right, now we want the W's. There we go. One, and we have finished. There we go. Didn't take long, did it? It's taken just under an hour and I was doing a lot of waffling on. Usually they take me about 40 minutes or so. But well, there we go. So thank you for joining me as I did this one. And tomorrow I will do one for Monday and maybe one for Tuesday as well. And then on Monday I shall do Wednesdays, two of them. Right, so on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one well we haven't got that many to do okay right so i will see you soon bye bye